53 banking of turn number one. Harvick clinging to the bottom of the racetrack. Joey Logano letting it ride up high. They're still dead even to the back straightaway. Rio to wheel for the lead. Ford and Chevy Logano crowding Harvick down. Here's Truex looking three wide for a moment. Not going to happen. Harvick now will squirt out. He'll grab the lead on turn number four. Joey Logano will tuck in line in second. Truex back to third. That's where everything stacks up right behind Ryan Newman, who's got the four spot. It's four. Austin Dillon on the move. Dillon to the inside of Brad Keselowski. That's a side-by-side -side battle for the number five position. Behind them, Kurt Busch down low. Casey Payne up high. Then Kyle Busch and Jeff Gordon. Austin Dillon gets around Brad Keselowski. Kurt Busch gets around Casey Kane. And the door's left open under Kane. Kyle Busch will put the hold on the inside. Kilgore back spot. And there's trouble further back. One car breaks loose. Up and in and around. Denny Hamlin will break loose. He'll spin to the bottom of the racetrack as everybody jumps on the binders. Denny Hamlin will break loose and slide to the bottom of the apron of turn four. Denny was the worst qualified of all of the chase contenders. He started the race today in the 29th position, and I was watching him back, man, as he was slicing his way through the field. He had already picked up nine spots, was trying to grab one more when he had uh, the incident there in front of you in turn three. Just looking at the tire marks on the racetrack, Joe, that was a long slide. It started in the middle of turn number three, and he chased that race car all the way to the apex of the corner and into turn four, and everybody did a good heads-up piece of driving to avoid Denny Hamlin. No damage on the race car from my perspective. He spun it to the bottom of the racetrack and collected no one else. He rolls across the start-finish line. Denny Hamlin does at a very, very reduced speed. We are under caution. Boy, it flies early. Only two laps in. Sprint vision screen uh, directly across from us. Rusty Wallace, you had a pretty good view of that. Oh, man, I had a great view of it. He bombed it down the back straightaway three wide going into turn three and drove it in so deep he could not get the car slowed down. He hit the 47 car, A.J. Amendinger, in the left rear quarter panel. Spun A.J. not around but into a long slide. But the 11 car just spun of Denny Hamlin. No harm, no foul, but it's very, very aggressive driving early in the turn three. And I'm sitting there looking at this, Joe, and I'm like, oh, baby, he better slow that thing down. He's really hauling the mail, getting down into turn three. And he